Hello viewers, in this video we'll be going on over the 20-year treasury or ETF ticker symbol TLT. In this video we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for TLT. So one thing to note on the TLT or 20-year treasury, ever since the Fed started to purchase treasury notes, we do see us some calm to the treasury market starting back in, I would say, once they started making large purchases back in March 24th to March 27th, so $300 billion that week. If we examine that date, we start to see a lower volatility ever since then, and it seems like until this next coming week, we may see a slow purchase of it from this week of 150 billion to 75 billion this week. So we may see a slight volatility back in the treasury. And ever since when it receives 75 billion a week, this is what we encounter in the treasury note or for TOT. And one thing to also note is when the treasury did pick up its purchase in the treasuries, again, as I mentioned, March 23rd, that date, the Fed purchased, starting to purchase 300 billion afterwards, and then 150 billion, and then 75 billion on April 1st. And if we examine the S&P 500 after March 23rd, the Fed starting to purchase and then it took a dip on April 1st with this 75 billion. After that, the Fed continued to ramp up its purchase to 120 billion, 200 billion, and 150 billion. And afterwards, it does follow the S&P 500 does follow the Fed's purchase of treasury notes. So we may see that the market and the treasury start to dip lower due to the Fed's cutback to 75 billion prior to the 300 billion. The S&P 500 continued to fall around March 23rd. So if we head back to prior to March 23rd, the S&P 500 continued to fall between that week. So it will be interesting to see where the S&P 500 and the Treasury will head to in the next coming days with the Fed's reduction in Treasury purchase next week. So let's just examine the day-by-day -day probability model on here. As the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 63% chance or 64% chance for Treasury to climb between 0 and 2%, a 9% chance for Treasury to climb between 2 and 4%, on the other hand, we have a 27% chance of Treasury to fall between 0 and negative 2%. And let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for TLT. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. And right here, we have the current trend as a line graph and overlapping it. I found to be the best match to the current trend. So let's examine it. So right here we have the current trend and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. And this trend dates back to December 26, 2002 to February 10th, 2003. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So we started off at the upper Bollinger Band. We were back to the mean, touched the middle Bollinger Band and made us temporarily reversal, but reverse down to touch the bottom Bollinger Band and once more touch the upper Bollinger Band right towards the very end. And we see that pattern here as well. We start off at the upper Bollinger Band, revert back to the mean, and then made a slight attempt to reverse but failed and head down lower to touch the bottom Bollinger Band. Next, we reverse and touch the upper Bollinger Band. So what we have is one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points on the current trend. So let's examine the trend 
There is reason to believe that the transient patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly same. So the model that we just examined was December 26, 2002 to February 10, 2003. Back then, TOT was up around 1.2 or 1.1%. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day forecast, it coincides with this standard deviation of 63% of heading higher between 0 and 2% in the next coming days. So let's examine the technical performance of each model. On the current trend, we are down 2% from monthly high, up 14% from monthly low, up 60 basis points from 10 simple moving average, and up 1% from 20 simple moving average. And since we're only examining 30-day trend, we won't have the 50-day moving average. So the trend that we just examined, December 26, 2002 to February 10, 2003, it was down 1.6% from monthly high, up 3% from monthly low, and down 15 basis points from 10 simple moving average, and up 40 basis points from 20 simple moving average. The difference we see in the technical performance lies in the 10 simple moving average. This is in negative and there's a positive up 60 basis points from 10 simple moving average and the difference is also in the monthly low on the current trend we are much higher for up 14 up 14 percent compare that to three percent so again this model is now available in the link below so do check it out if you enjoy this content feel free to like comment subscribe and thank you for watching